In this video, we're going to talk about Model View Controller a little bit more in depth than we have in other videos. Model View Controller is an architecture that has its roots back from 1979 when a gentleman came up with this architecture describing how to develop interactive applications and it was actually more applicable at that time to GUI applications but it's directly applicable to web applications that we are building today and this is the architecture that Ruby on Rails uses. Uh, now model view controller essentially has three main parts you have the model controller and the view. The model is what maintains the state of your application and in our case here it maintains that state with regards to your database and your data. In Ruby on Rails a model is a class that is directly tied to a table in a database. So for example if you have a shopping cart with items in that shopping cart you might have a table with shopping cart items inside that table and you would have a Ruby class describing that table. That's one model and you're going to have multiple models uh, depending on your application. Some applications have more than others. And the model takes care of, as we stated, the state. And the state meaning what the current data is in there, if it needs to be updated, if it needs to be inserted, those types of things. And also in Rails, the model describes the relationships between the tables. If there's a one-to-many or many-to-many -many relationship going on, that's done in the model code. And in the video that describes the model specifically, we'll actually look at some Ruby on Rails code. Now the next uh, part of model view controller is your view. Your view is responsible for generating your user interface, and this is generally based on the, the data that's inside the model. So the model will have a list of shopping cart items and based on those items the view will generate HTML and JavaScript with a list of those items in this example. The controller can be viewed as the code that orchestrates all of this stuff. Primarily this is what the user via the web browser interacts with is the controller, the code inside the controller. And with Ruby on Rails, these three parts exist as separate files. The controller and the model are Ruby code and will be .rb files, and the view is going to be either an rhtml file, which is an html file with embedded Ruby code, or it could be an rjs, which is a Ruby JavaScript file. So the controller actually is like I said, the, the piece of code that orchestrates between the model, the view, and the database. And it is what the user's interacting with when they call a URL. They're not actually calling a view URL, they're calling a controller URL. And the controller in Rails takes care of generating which particular view and calling which model, those types of things. And we'll see how to do that and, and you'll actually do that. So how this works is that a web browser makes a request and that's the controller and it actually runs a method inside the Rails controller that's going to do something. It's going to request some data to be generated. It's going to do a find. It'll just ask for a simple list and the controller interacts with the model. You might have where it's going to instantiate a new model and do a find for a particular subset of your data. So the model interacts with the database seamlessly. You don't program that. That just happens in the background. That's part of the Rails framework. Then the database, through the model, bring back the data to the controller. And this is in the form of object-oriented type arrays that you can then manipulate inside the controller to generate views. You can also just use variables that are assigned arrays of information and use those inside your view. And via the view, HTML and JavaScript are generated and then reissued out to the web browser, which then renders that view. This is an overview of how Model View Controller works. And if you go out and search on the web or look in some of the websites that I've put into the resources working file that goes along with this CD or on the BTC website, you'll see much more in-depth explanations of Model View Controller. There are several other videos that go in-depth more as to what the model, the view, and the controller look like inside of Ruby on Rails and how those work.